Hey guys, I want to tell you a love story. A love story about me and a band. The whole romantic love story about me and we are scientists and all of our friends. <laughs> I felt like making that into a video because my friends would appreciate this and uh, I think you guys might find it a little bit funny. So I discovered We Are Scientists on a complete and total whim. I was browsing through the Music Choice channels on Comcast TV one day and I was like, oh, that band name is clever. Science. I like science. So I watched their music video for Nobody Move, Nobody Get Hurt. And I loved it because who doesn't love three cute guys being chased by a bear or a person in a bear costume. So after that, I went and I found all of their music and downloaded it in a completely wrong order using WinMX. Booyah! Winamex, old school. All you young people have no idea what that or Kazaa or any of those are. Napster! But I went and I downloaded all the songs off of With Love and Squalor, and I still have that original burned CD somewhere. And I, I kind of got really obsessed with them for several months after that. And then it was my senior year and I got really preoccupied and I kind of didn't really care about anything besides like getting healthy. So I kind of like dropped them off my radar. And then I got to college and I got really obsessed with the Lonely Island. Those Andy Samberg, Yorma Taccone, and Akiva Schaefer from Saturday Night Live. The guys who do the dick in a box thing. It turns out Akiva directed several of We Are Scientist music videos. So I was like browsing through the Lonely Island YouTube channel thing and I was like, oh hey, I know that band. Cool, weird, small world. I became obsessed with We Are Scientists again, like this time completely and utterly like, oh, I want this band in my life. I went and I joined the message boards um, or I read the message boards. I didn't really like write anything yet because I was still like, oh my God, I'm so timid and like, not in with the crew. The relationship stayed very kind of consistent for the next few months. That was when I was kind of like having a bit of a clusterfuck of a year, um, living with a uh, horrid bitch as a roommate and um, not being in the right place. But we are scientists, kept me, kept me going through it all. And then that summer when I was actually, I had my first boyfriend, um, this should have been the first red flag actually. I heard that We Are Scientist was coming to Seattle on tour and they were playing at Numos and I was like, I want to see that band. I could do that. And I had never been to a club show before this, you guys. I was 18 and I had never been to a like club concert. The only other concerts I'd ever been to have been at like, like the Key Arena and like big things that I went to with my parents and shit, like in sync. But I'd never been to a club show, so I was like, I want to go to this. I really, 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 really want to go to this. My boyfriend didn't want to go with me, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll take my sister. We broke up like two months later. And when we got there, there was this girl with blue hair who thought we were cutting in line in front of her, and she was like, I've been saving this spot in front of Keith for hours. I will cut you. Like, cut. Not like, cut in line, like, slice cut and that turned out to be Adrian my head lady mance me and Andy were coming up with words the other day we were talking about him and his friend Josh's bromance what would the girl version of that be and he's like I don't know and I was like lady mance lady mance I would consider me and Adrian have a lady mance yeah but yeah so Adrian threatened to cut me in line and that is how we met and that show was awesome and Keith jumped down into the crowd for textbook and it was awesome and he like touched me and I was like <gasps> Oh, the cute gray-haired boy touched me. Oh, yeah. I love Keith. After that, I wrote a little blog post about said show and I like sent it to the What's the Word blog that Renee, my friend Renee, runs. And I was like, oh, I have some information. Like, I went to the show and it was fun times. And then Adrian saw it. She's like, oh my god, that was me. I didn't mean to like scare you. And I was like, no, that's cool. And then we made friends on MySpace. And then I followed her on Twitter. She was like the second person I ever followed on Twitter. We uh, became friends and me and Renee became friends. And then I got like into the message board and then I met Susie and Susie and Polly and Joe and Tracy, Zoe and Aaron and Amber. I don't know how many people I'm like friends with on Facebook that I've met through the We Are Scientists message board, but there's a lot of them. We have since done like two Secret Santa things. We had Doctor Who intense discussions and like We Are Scientists intense 
intense discussions and like it was super super nerdy I had never been a part of like a message board before and, like I started doing concert photography because of my friends Amber and Polly because they're super awesome and talented the biggest thing that happened to all of us was when they first started playing the songs off of Barbara live and people had been like recording them at live shows oh it's another new song and like we would rip them and like bootleg them to each other and I actually got into We Are Scientists when right around when Brain Thrust Mastery was was coming out so like I got really close with my friends like right before Barbara came out in 2010 when the first song that we ever heard the first new song which is I don't bite from Barbara uh, when it was first played we had like a two minute clip of it on some crappy video from a phone on YouTube we didn't know what it was called and so we came up with Carol not sure why, but like literally like all of us had ripped the video and made that a track on iTunes. So like under We Are Scientists, like the song Carol was played like hundreds of times because we were like, oh my god, a new song. It's fangasm. Don't you guys get excited when you hear new songs from your favorite bands? Like that's exciting. I'm not ashamed to say that I'm obsessed with We Are Scientists because they're super, super nice people. And the, peop the friends that I've met because of them are some of my best friends and I'm so thankful to have met them. Like I met my friend Renee in person like three years ago. We went to the same show in Portland. We went to go see Britt Daniel of Spoon at Mississippi Studios and then two summers ago all of us like met up in San Francisco to see We Are Scientists. Like us and We Are Scientists are a serious relationship. Adrian did the cover art for the Nice Guys single two years ago. Like that's freaking legit, okay? The biggest thing that ever happened to me, I hadn't even met the band at this point. I got asked to interview Chris uh, right before Barbara came out and I was like, what? It's still like the only interview I've ever done. I need to do more. But I interviewed Chris over the phone and it was super intimidating and I was super freaked out. But it ended up really, really well, and I had all my friends give me questions because I didn't have any questions to ask him. I was like, oh my god, I have like two days! <gasps> like two months later when I met them down in Portland, I was like, I actually interviewed you for Pop Reckoning. He's like, oh, you're that Abby! Thank you for your personal and professional interest in our band. And I was like, you're welcome. But the two week period that all of us like went to San Francisco and Portland and Seattle and like went to the shows were like, so much a part of them. Some of the most fun I've had in my whole life because it was like none of us gave a shit like we we drove to San Francisco from Portland in a day like we drove 11 hours. We went to Redding, California and got In-N-Out Burger and then we got to San Francisco that night the show was the next day and we left the day after. Like we were there for literally a day and a half and we just went to see our favorite band. What are some bands that you guys can attribute so much of your life to? Like that just sounds like a weird thing, but I can attribute so much of my life to We Are Scientists. Thinking about like cause and effect, I don't know, like if I hadn't gotten to We Are Scientists, I wouldn't have met Adrian or Amber or Renee and I wouldn't have gone to San Francisco and I wouldn't have gone into concert photography and I wouldn't have, like, it's crazy to think about all the things that have come because of one band. They really need to tour again, damn it. I, need, I want them back in my life. They need to make more music quickly. Frickin' lazy assholes. And see, we're so tight with them that we can call them assholes and it'll be okay. Like, I had Chris's phone number for a while, but then I, like, got taken off the Pop Reckoning email list, so it's not there anymore, but I called Chris on the phone. I'll put links to videos talking about when I actually went to go, like, went to San Francisco. I called it the Was Stravaganza. Wow, Abby looks all different, and her camera is really crappy, and, like... She has different glasses and different hair. What the hell? I thought I needed to share that part of my life with you guys because it's a big part of it and I don't talk about it nearly enough on here. And I wanted to make myself seem like more of a weirdo. I think this accomplished that. I think it did. I'll see you guys later. Bye!